Good job, kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Yeah, well, I love this trip. Okay. Are you going to walk home with Good job, kids. Have a nice summer, Miss Miller. You too, Kirsten. See you next oh, year. Uh, again, Willa Decker. Yeah. When you get to look at the big picture, what's a few extra years in junior high? I mean, look at you guys. You're spending some extra time in junior high. Big Z, it's not quite the same. Later. I didn't know it was possible to jump while sleeping. Oh, he's not sleeping, but he's dreaming. This kid's always daydreaming. Billy. Billy. Billy? Earth calling Billy. School's out, Billy. Oh, right. Have a good summer. Yeah, you too. you bring all these animals home. But they're all different animals. Yes, dear, but we're not a zoo. I know. Promise me you won't bring home another animal, not one. I promise. Not even as a present like Easter. OK? I still don't know why you gave me a goose for Easter. That's it, the last one. And don't forget to practice your piano lessons. Last day of school or not. My entire life sits before you. You're taking all of it to camp? No, didn't mom tell you? Tell me what? Grandpa's moving into my room for the summer. Why? Dad finally got a business trip to Europe. And mom says there's no way that dad is going to France and Italy without her. So Grandpa's moving in to watch over you little ones. So Grandpa's moving into our room, and I'm moving to your room with you. Why doesn't Grandpa move in with Mom and Dad? I'm moving in with Billy. I'm moving in with Billy. I'm moving in with Billy. He I'm thinks it violates their privacy. Billy. I'm moving in with Billy. I'm what about my privacy? Hey, Critter. I wish the summer were already over. I can't believe you're making me share my room with Molly. Well, I didn't know what else to do. Your grandfather offered to come over and take care of you, kid. Dad, I don't need a babysitter. I know, I know, but I wouldn't feel right unless there was an adult around. You know, for Molly. Yeah, Molly. I tell you what. This summer, the garage is yours, yours only. Now park the station wagon out on the street and turn this whole place into a clubhouse. Dad, I'm too old. Dad, I'm too old for a clubhouse. Besides, I've never been in any club. Yeah, well, the place is all yours just the same. Why don't you come with me tomorrow to pick up your grandpa? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, it's my last day in town. I won't be back till after Labor Day. All right. Dad, it's not that I don't like Grandpa more than... I'm always such a baby sometimes. And you need a place to be alone. That's why this summer, the garage, it's all yours. Hi, Billy. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Hello, Donna. I heard you and Mrs. Johnson were leaving town again. You heard right. I'm glad you'll still be here, Billy. These places always smell funny. Well, your grandfather can't afford to be too picky, and he's too proud to take money from your mother and me. Grandpa. <laughs> you 
serve them. Grandpa. Grandpa. I don't think he's got his hearing aid turned on. Grandpa. Hey, Pop. Come on in. How long you been standing out there? You all packed? Packed? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I got enough for a week or so. Sweet potato pie coming up. Rita, you shouldn't have done this. It's your oh. favorite. Now, Rita, you remember Billy, don't you? Hi. Hi. And my son? Of course. Hey, Billy, you, you take that for me? Well, you got everything? Mm, yeah. Well, uh, you know, I we're all going to miss you around here. Now, I'm not going to be that far. I'll be around. Uh, Rita, feel free to drop around the house anytime. Have you got our phone number? No. We live pretty close by. Well, that's about it. Have a very nice trip. I visit and come back. Here, let me get that pop. Oh. Bruce this place up. You have a nice summer now. And don't forget, just because you're not going to be here, you still have to pay rent each month, right? I've never failed to pay my rent. Ah, I should have gone into bed and breakfast hotels. That's where the real money is. I don't eat breakfast. Goodbye, Mr. Muda. How about you? You eat breakfast? Prunes. Six prunes a day, every day. Billy, it's too dark in here. I don't like it. Molly, it's night. What do you want me to do? Can we keep the light on? Molly, I'm tired. Please? OK, but just for tonight. Do you think Heidi likes us at camp? Yes, Molly. Do you think Mom and Dad are on it yet? No, they're probably still on the airplane. Oh. Is it dark in the airplane? Really? Molly, be quiet or I'll turn off the light. Here you are, Easter. Longfellow Critter, breakfast time. Come and get it. Hey, guys, how are you doing this morning? Hey, Longfellow, just let me know when you want to sleep in the garage. Hey, Gritter, here you go. Good morning, Miss Sorfus. Hello, Billy. You know, Billy, it isn't very healthy talking to animals as if they were real. But they are real. Can't just dream our lives away. Been thinking about that a lot lately. Lately, I... I mean, you wake up, you're 60. Hey. I'm taking a nap. Life is too short. Molly's gonna be at the Wilsons all day long. I got a plan. Let's go. Go where? Flying! <laughs> Beautiful! Wonderful! 
Superb! Oh, you make me very proud, Katrina. Beautiful. A few more times, and then Sheila, you're next. Get it. Why don't you go next? Oh, me. You a sight for sore eyes? I didn't know if you were still teaching. Never stop doing what you love doing. Billy, this is Mr. Harvey Skitters, the greatest flying teacher of them all. Uh, this is my grandson. Why don't you sit down over there and enjoy the show? We've got an audience now, folks, so once again with style. Which almost feels like they're flying. Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Your father used to come here with me all the time. He thought it was great. That was a long time ago. Why did you and Dad stop coming here? Superb! I guess your dad just got too grown up for the flying trapeze. Or maybe he just got too old to pal around with his dad. Now, Sheila, you're next. And remember what we discussed. OK. Oh, don't make me have to come up there and show you how. Life goes by so quickly. And you let it. That's the pity. Do you know how long I've lived in that apartment of mine? Five years? No, 12 years. You, you know how died. long I've been saying I'm going to fix it up? 12 years. Well, yeah, it could look a little nicer. Mm. Reach. Enjoy. That's what we're going to do, you and me. We'll conquer time. We'll scrape and we'll clean and we'll paint. Come on, up and at them. You wait to see how great it is to work with your hands. Skitters, we'll be back. Next time you come back, I just might take a turn up there. Come on, Kitty. <laughs> All right. There's a record player and some records in the hall closet. Well, don't you have a radio? It broke. I don't like modern music. Reminds me of when your grandmother used to bang pans in the kitchen when she was cooking spaghetti. Except when that ruckus was over, I got something to eat. You don't even have a little clock radio? <sighs> I, they got terrific records. They're classics. Get up off your knees, go and see. They belong to your father. I saved every one of them. <laughs> Silly. Jerry Lee Lewis, he, Little Richard, Chuck Berry, Screaming Jay Hawkins, Chubby Checker. Yeah.
friend friend <laughs> Billy uh Billy <laughs> Billy <laughs> Right right uh Billy Come on we got to make sure no one sees you Okay, now, it'll be real dark in here, but there's plenty of air. That is, if you do breathe air. Anyway, you have to be real quiet. Come on. Okay, that's it. Now, get real comfortable. Okay, I'll, I'll be back soon, I promise. Oh, boy. Rita helped me wash out my hair, then I came back to the apartment. And I saw what you'd done. It's a beautiful job, the living room. Thank you. Then I realized you were missing. I got afraid. Well, I just needed a breath of fresh air. But then I noticed that the record player was on repeat. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to turn it off. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I got the tail end of a real oldie. The Purple People Eater. Do you know that one? Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Silly song. <laughs> The purple people in. Your father played it so many times, I actually started to like it. <laughs> yeah. 
if that's Dad, all right. Yeah, your father. <sighs> um, you go on in. Um, I'm gonna better take Critter for a walk. You know, Billy, I heard your mother say that she wished you'd spend more time with some friends than you do with the animals. Come on, Critter. But you're gonna have to kind of hide out. Huh? Here we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is Critter. Critter, this is, uh, w how about purple? <laughs> Hush, you two. Now, everything's okay, but, but you're gonna have to keep quiet or we're all gonna get in trouble. Now, hush, Critter. Purple. Okay. I'll make you a nice, cozy little bed. You do sleep, right? You know, sleep, uh... All right, first you have to get into bed. Uh, now, get tired. Night-night, <laughs> uh, little purple. Happy dreams. Is that you? I try to be quiet, but the kitty wanted to go on the balcony. Molly, you know you're not allowed up there. I know. <sighs> that was some dream. Oh, uh, Billy. Um, morning. Sit down, please. Bi Good morning, morning Papa. Morning, darling. Mrs. Orphus and her daughter got up extra early to fix breakfast for us this morning. Can't you even say good morning, Billy? Sorry. Morning, everyone. Good, good morning, morning, Billy. Face place, anyone? Uh, no. I should probably go feed the animals. I can never eat until they have. Uh, uh, Billy? It's just Grandpa Shorts. You stay right here. I'll bring you some food before I leave, and then I'll hurry back real soon, but you've got to stay here. Billy! Uh -huh. See you soon, little purple. Billy? Where are you? Is there someone in there with you? I heard you talking to someone in there. Oh, Donna, you know me. Always talking to myself. You want to go to the museum with me? I really should help out my grandpa. Think of the universe, man. Take a chill, bro. 
Those are the punks you told me about. Grandpa, not so loud, but what if they hurt us? Well, they know they're punks, don't they? Well, yeah. See? I'm catching up with the times, and it's all because of you. Excuse us, please. Oh. We'll pick up some plants. I tell you, there's nothing like digging in the soil, feeling the earth in your hands. Grandpa? Grandpa? Hey, kids, take it easy. Relax. Chicken sample? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Chicken is tastier than duck. What the? I'm really not hungry. Oh. Billy! Up here! Billy! The only place in the mall I can turn my hearing aid off. Who is that on horn? Unnatural and sensational. I haven't heard a horn like that since Dizzy Gillespie's time. I mean, the horns looked a little different. <laughs> Billy Pop, where are your manners? Introduce me to your friend. Oh, right. Uh, my friend's name is, well, we kind of call him Purple. Purple, huh? <laughs> are you in a band of any kind? Well, you and Billy ought to form a band yourself. You can't just. Well, I mean, It'd don't be you have so to know good that anybody could something? manage you. I'm a purple people leader. <laughs> He's got a great imagination. I think he means it. I mean, he's a musician. He's an artist. He has to mean what he sings. When he sings it, it wouldn't sound good. I'm a one night, one horn flying purple people leader. <laughs> Mr. Purple People Leader, what's your life? Oh, eating purple people, and it sure is fine. But that's not the reason I came to land. I want to get a job in a rock and roll band. Just remember, when you talked me into this, I would have never done it without... Well, I mean, I guess it is better than gardening, but... but auditions. I'm just not good at organizing people. I mean, sure, I put an ad in the newspaper and stuck a few signs on the billboards, but you and I only have a few days to practice. But what if nobody even shows up on Saturday? Then what? You play with your hands? Well, yeah. Play from your heart, like this. play all those on the accordion? For sure. What's the deal? You only know the classics? Radio waves. 25 years for radio waves to go from Earth to my planet. How long did it take you to get here? Faster than life! <laughs>
days a week is a lot, but I think it's what we'll have to do if you really want to make it. Sure, I'll play my guitar and eat you as I get. Pass the chili peppers. Great. How about your card? Yeah, that's good for me. My parents hate my noise. Ditto, man. All right, great. Allison, is he eating the chili peppers? I tell you something. Do you promise not to tell anyone? Sure. I know it's hard to believe, but well, purple came from up there. You mean from outer space? Yeah. I, I saw him fly. Well, everyone thinks he looks the way he does because of his music. How'd you find him? It's it's strange, but in a way, it, it had a lot to do with my grandpa. You promise you won't tell? I promise. It's almost finished. How's the garden coming? Great. Oh, it looks terrific. <laughs> you know, I am so proud of you for starting up that band. I think this friend Purple is good for you. You, you tell me something. Does he always wear that outfit of his? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think uh, so. Well, all artists are a little peculiar. I mean, it, who's to complain? He sure is talented, isn't he? Huh. Ooh. Yeah, doesn't this place look chipper, huh? Paint the inside, I see, huh? Yeah, I thought I'd paint the outside, too, if you don't mind. Well, fine, great. Paint the whole place, if you like. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm raising everybody's rent 10% starting next month. This is the second rent increase in the past six months. Well, hey, this place is looking so nice and luxurious, you're lucky I don't double the rent. <laughs> What'd you say? I was just kidding. It's kind of a compliment. Jeez, you old folks take things so seriously. Rita, honey. How do you think I'm going to come up with more and more rent money? It's only 10%. Do you think I'm a millionaire from Social Security? Just a minute. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Shh. Wrong time. Good morning, oh, Mr. Paper. I hope I'm not bothering you. We were going to have breakfast out today. I really felt I should tell you something. My daughter, Donna. Oh, Donna is a nice girl, and she takes after you, I, well, I noticed. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I really feel you should hear this. Donna overheard Billy saying the oh, other Excuse day. me. Oh, 
Hello. What? Did I call inquiring about a band? Oh, oh, oh I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Uh, no, no, you wouldn't have heard about them because, you see, they're brand new. Uh, they, they did a number over at the mall. That's right, the one with the crazy horn. Now, you see, you have heard of them. Mm, really? Yeah, oh, yes. I see. How much do you usually pay a band? Ex excuse me, but uh, Donna overheard Billy say that Purple was from outer space. Wow! That's a whole lot of money. You got yourself a deal. Yes, we'll, we'll be over there next week. I, I know exactly where. Bye. Excuse me, I don't think you're interested. What? <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Did you have any concern at all for what I just said? Donna overheard Billy say that Purple is an alien. <laughs> Billy says some funny things. <laughs> purple is a little strange. Yes. But that's because he's a real artist. No, you don't understand. The, purple is an alien. You don't understand. All artists are strange. Was Vincent van Gogh insane? Were Picasso and the Impressionists deranged? What Was Elvis vulgar? I who are we to judge? Of course, they're a little bit peculiar. But what's the difference? We've got to learn to appreciate them for their talent. Because they're artists, punks, aliens, bebops. Donna overheard. Because she snoops too much. Snoops? Oh, no. An orifice does not snoop. Billy! This time, I think you finally did it. Did what? Your band just got its first job. <laughs> well, well, where is it? Tell me. The Holiday Inn. Do we make any money? <laughs> oh, will there be lots of people there? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hello? Well, when is it? <laughs> yes, yes, Dr. Rubin. Well, what are we going to play? Yes, she's a, she's a very good friend. I see. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll be right over there. Thank, uh, thank you for calling. It's Rita. She's sick. She, she hasn't been eating right or something. She fainted and fell down. I'll go get dressed. I'm fine. Really, nurse, I'm fine. How about just a little juice? No. A little soup? No. How about a glazed donut? Oh, hello. It's so good to see both of you. Come on, you could never turn down a glazed donut. They they look delicious. But you just you should have saved your money. Oh, how about you, nursey? Come on. No thanks. Come on, they're tasty. Just one, maybe. Uh, stop flirting, and you can take your break now. Billy, uh... Yeah, hope you feel better, Rita. All right. Okay. Now, what is this about not eating? What is the point of eating? <sighs> Rita, I, I... this isn't like you, is it? No. But, Sam, you know, I've had a pretty long life, and I've had wonderful times, more than most people, and... The doctor says you're okay. Yes, but the doctor isn't being pushed out of his home. I've lived here over 22 years, and not once, not once was I ever late with my rent check. Yeah, now, just calm down, Rita, okay? I want to die in my own home, among my own things. Not on some strange street somewhere. Not another word of that, okay? Just not... One more word. What's wrong, Billy? Yeah, man, you seem really totally out of it. Oh, well, you guys aren't mad at me or anything. Hey, we've got a show, right? A show's a show. And money's money, man. You're right. I just thought you guys felt my grandpa what? blew it when he booked us what? for a...
studio next week. We'll talk. Studio? Oh, I thought you knew. MCZ Records. I'm the father of the bride. The king, huh? Grandpa, it's no fun winning when you let me. Oh, I'm, I'm not letting you. I, I just got some other things on my mind, that's all. I can't believe that we get to meet with MCZ Records. You're the greatest. You know, I wish Rita had a grandson like you. Why, why don't we take Purple over and surprise Rita? I don't know. Um, you know, Rita's kind of set in her ways. Oh, well, she'd love purple. I just know it. Remember, she's the last one left in her family. I'm like her only relative because, you know, we've been neighbors for so long. Uh, she was born in England, but uh, she considers herself 100% American. Uh, she loves game shows. She simply adores them. Grandpa, everything will be okay. Just let it happen. Who is it? A long lost neighbor. Oh, hello. You know, if I'd known you were going to come over, I would have uh, baked some. We just happen to be in a neighborhood. And I want you to meet my new friend. All right. Where is he? Uh, I just, let me explain. He's a little different. There's nothing to be afraid of. Sam, you think I'm some kind of old willy-nilly. <laughs> See, Grandpa, I told you it'd be OK. Yeah. Uh, Purple, come on in. Just stay calm. Ah! Ah! It's OK. It's OK. It's not going to hurt it's you. It's OK. Rita, meet Purple. He's my best friend. Oh, uh, is he? 
one of those long hairs, something. That's old fashioned, Rita. Uh, see, purple's kind of new around here, and, um, well, I was just, you know, introducing him to people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we all go for a walk? That's a fine idea. Wonderful. You all go for a nice long walk. Come I'll here. stay here. Bye. No, wait. That's a good idea. Come on, girl. I'll see you later. <laughs> you, you don't like walks either? I like to fly. I, I don't mind flying. I, a lot of people my age, well, you know, they're scared of airplanes. But me, I was never afraid of flying. Who's that? Oh, <laughs> that's my family, my mother, father. It was me uh, when I, I was a little girl. I'm only about six or seven, I think. What? Mom, Pop, and me. I have Mom's eye and Dad's horn. <laughs> hmm. Where did you learn how to play cards so good? Cosmo 5. Where? Cosmo 5. Oh, that must be the new casino? Uh, right next to the Stardust? Gin. Gin? What? Knock, knock, knock. Uh, it's open. Come in. Oh, I get it. You kick us out so you can play some gin with him, huh? It was it was Purple's idea. He's really a card shark. <laughs> but don't be jealous. You were never very good at cards, were you? <laughs> You're right. But I'm a pretty good dancer. Huh? Shall we? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Go away, we're busy. Not now. Oh, it's open. Well, I thought I heard music. Oh, wait. What can we do for you, too? Actually, I was just checking in. I heard a nurse spent two nights here, and, uh, you know, I do have a $20 charge per guest per night for overnight visits. A medical nurse? <coughs> That's not an overnight visitor. Well, I have my rules. Uh, well, I will include the extra charge when I pay my rent check. Anything else, Mr. Noodle? That's all. You have fun now. Dirty. Uh, uh, we'll discuss it later, you and your children. No, no, no. I'm going to discuss this right now. Sam, Sam, calm, stay calm. Stay. See every. Mr. Noodle. Uh, Mr. What Noodle, what is uh, it? Please wait, please. Uh, you know, R Rita's had a very hard time of it. So what's that got to do with me? Well, you, you just can't keep asking her for more and more money. She she just doesn't have it. Well, maybe she should move. But this is her home. Look, kid, I'm trying to turn this place into an upscale apartment complex, and uh, you see, young rich people don't want to live next door to old people. It depresses them. Mr. Noodle. Later, dude. grandfather's yesterday. He wouldn't believe his landlord. At one point, he actually told me that young people don't want to live next to old people. That's prejudice. Yeah, man, like what a racist. Not a racist, he's an ageist. A what? An ageist, you know, someone that doesn't like old people. The only good thing is that Rita really seemed happy after she met Purple. It really made a difference. Maybe that's what we should all do. You know, uh, spend some more time with an older person. And uh, no offense, but I can barely talk to my parents. You and my grandpa get along, okay? Maybe it's just parents I can't handle. You'll give it a try, won't you, Corey? Can't I just drop off a toy? A toy? That's what my grandparents used to do when they visited me. You have the right idea. Me, me. Let's give me something fun. Like a party. Jeepers! Creepers! <laughs> <laughs> That's the 
tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees and the moon up above and the thing called love. Let me tell you about the stars in the sky and the girl and the guy and the way they think it is. I'm the kind of feeling that's wrong. Oh, no flat tops on your feet. You know, you kids are all alike. You all want long hair. You can't see. Start slow. Oh, oh my heavens. Oh, what are you moaning about? This is easy. Easy for you. you Just wait till it's your turn. I think you should all go back to bed. What do you think? Couldn't be better. I think readers have a good time, too. Yeah? Purple, you're next! Well, you were right, Ken. I can call you Ken, can't I? If we do business together, you can call me anything you want, Doris. My gut instinct is that this place would be marvelous for condominiums. I'm Doris, huh? I can always feel a home for BMW. <laughs> Oh, this is exhilarating.
puppy out there on the balcony? Puppy doll. Oh my god, stop the car. Stop the car. Come on, Donna. Come on. Come on, Donna. Come on. Oh, Longfellow. Stay there, puppy doll. What are we going to do about the wiener dog? Uh, I, I'm going to call the fire department. I, I, I'm going to get a letter. Go see if Billy's home. Yeah. Oh, Longfellow. Here, boy. Here, boy. Billy! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It, it, it's in trouble. The wiener dog, he's in trouble. I'm scared, Longfellow. Oh. I'll Mother. come get you. Mother! Mother! Mother, come quick! I'm scared. Molly, you just stay right there. I I'm coming for you. Just hang on. Grandpa's on his way. Cake. You're as young as you feel. And? As young as you look. Actually, everybody around here has been acting younger since the pool party. Eh? Uh, yeah. Now we have a weekly card game, and every Thursday, Henry invites us over to his apartment. Who's Henry? The retired, lonely, grouchy physicist. Yeah, he's got one of those videotape machines, and he's going to get a, a, a hello, new picture. Hello, hello. Well, hey, 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 it's the party animals. <laughs> hey, buddy, hey. Hey, you're a little uh, early for Halloween, aren't you, pal? <laughs> uh, Miss oh, this is that uh, super talented music kid, isn't it? Uh, so sing me a song. Yak, yak, yak. Don't talk back. Yakety yak. Mr. Newell, would you like a piece of cake? No, thanks. It's my birthday. Well, happy birthday. Yes. An eviction notice? Next week, everybody's to be out by Labor Day. I'm converting this place to condos. Oh, no. Rita! The paramedics have done a fine job. Now it's up to Rita. What do you mean, Doc? Cases like this, a lot's up to the patient. The most important thing right now is that she want to live. We're ready for you, Doctor. I'll, I'll call you in a few hours, Sam. Thanks, Doc. die? I don't know, Billy. Yes? Dr. Rubin. Yes. I see. I see. Uh, th thank you for calling. Billy, looks like she may not make it. She's still in critical condition. I'm going over there. I think I should be with her. OK? It's all Noodle's fault. If he just would have let Rita stay in her apartment, she'd be OK. I know it. Yes, this is the right number for the band. Our next concert, we really don't have anything at this point. It's the newspaper. You know Live Aid? You know Comic Relief? Well, the Purple People Eaters 
are putting on SOS. Save our CDRs. <clears throat> what he means is we're putting on a benefit concert. That, that's right, save our seniors at the, the Elmwood Apartments um, on Labor Day. Of, of course, we're inviting the city officials, sure. Okay. All right, we'll see you on Labor Day. Bye. What an idea. That's fantastic. Careful with the strings, Allison. Sorry, Big Z. My dad said he'd jocks as many of these as we need. Free. He said he wants to help. That's great, Corey. Thanks. How's it going, Purple? Dandy, dandy, cotton candy. Everybody born gets a horn. Do something fun. Do something patriotic. Come to Elmwood. Support the scene. Hear the Purple People Eaters in concert. Meet Purple. Take your picture with Purple. Get Purple's autograph. Purple, purple, purple. Hi. Oh, thank you. Save our seniors. Save our seniors. Wouldn't you like to be a purple people eater, too? I'd like to get my hands on that purple. Probably we shouldn't stay too long. Deborah, David Allen. Do you remember everything? Uh huh. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Come in. Come in. How you feeling? Oh, much, much better. Except my knees when when my back. Billy, I'll tell you a secret. After 60, it's patch, patch, patch. <laughs> Have you seen the kids on television? Oh, yes, that's all the nurses talk about. SOS. <laughs> the concert is tomorrow. Now, Dr. Rubin says it's all right with him for you to go. I think it's going to take more than a concert to, to save Elmwood. Uh, well, the city council will be there, and they've got a petition. Oh, look at Aunt Ree. My, oh, my. I made it myself. Oh. <laughs> I love you, too. But you already know that, huh? <laughs> Come on. Come on, take a look. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> what do you think? It's you. <laughs> I'm going to twist it up. I'm going to twist it down. I'm going to twist it up and then around. I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah, yeah. You call yourself a lawyer? Look, I don't know why you can't do something to stop them. They're just kids. Do you hear me? Kids, for crying out loud. Did you... Wait, oh, wait. Did you get down to City Hall? Did you offer them my donation of a statue out front? What do you mean they called it bribery? It's civic pride, pal. No, I'm not giving up. Never. <sighs> Wonderful lawyer. The weather for tomorrow looks to be picture perfect, and it's going to be a very special Labor Day for all of you going to the SOS concert. I'll be there. I can't get enough of that purple. It'll be what he... That's it. That's it. Come on, doubles. <laughs> Molly, can you iron me a shirt when you get done there for the big concert tomorrow? Okay, Grandpa. Sure, I'm proud of you, kid. I just hope it works. You know what they say, you can't fight City Hall. Well, we're not fighting City Hall. We want City Hall to help us fight Noodle. What he's doing is just not right. Purple's go. Let's see. Boardwalk. Four hotels. OK, let me have them. Move me there, will you, Billy? <laughs> Red. <laughs> OK, here you go. Well, here, Purple. You might as well just take it all. And the property, too. Uh-oh, looks like bedtime to me. I'm not tired. What do you say, guys? Let's call it a night. You got a big day tomorrow. I'll tell you. What if I carry you upstairs like a sack of beans? Okay, Grandpa. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to 
want to sleep in the living room? I wouldn't mind. No place to hang. <sighs> okay. Sleep tight. Pleasant dreams, Billy. Jackpot. What the heck? Just about enough of your cute little stunts. Look, no funny stuff. We just wait here till the concert's over, then I set you free. <laughs> Afterwards, you just say you forgot to show up or something. Got it? <laughs> Got it? can a kid be, huh? Let's take a look. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, shut up. I don't want anybody to hear. Got it? <laughs> now, look, you sit still. And one peep out of you, and I gag you. So watch it. Understand? <laughs> Got it? Watch it. We've got a lot to do. I'm sleepy. Oh, come on. I'll go get purple and you wake up Grandpa. OK. longer, your little benefit will be canceled. <laughs> hey, Dingo.
about about this this high with a ho ho Never mind. Giddy up! So what did the police say? Not much, actually. Purple can't be considered missing, but that garage looked like something. I hope Purple's okay. Come on, Purple. You gotta show up. Well, well what about Rita? You know I can't do these things alone. <laughs> young woman, and I'm considered a new arrival. Billy's gone. Purple's disappeared. Wait a minute. What are we gonna do? Billy will show up. I really don't think we can go on with just three of us. Maybe we've still got time. The police are searching the city. Billy! Billy. I don't know what else to do. I've looked everywhere. Should we call off the show? No, the show's Purple's idea. It's for Rita and everyone like her. We're playing no matter what. Ooh, ooh. Thanks, Harvey. Ooh. Ooh. Later, alligator.
out and, and doing things like this. See, I used to dream about things. And it was my grandpa, my grandpa told me I've, I've, I've got to stop dreaming and start doing. This benefit really wasn't my idea, it was my friends. My best friends. And I think it's one of the best ideas ever. And how can we let the, the people of Elmwood be evicted, kicked out of their homes because someone wants to get rich? Well, not really rich, but richer. It doesn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense that we should, we should watch it happen. You, me, the city council. We've got to do something. People should not be kicked out of their homes and onto the streets. Evicting seniors is not right, and it shouldn't be allowed. And, and, and it's not going to happen. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to call for an emergency vote from the city council. And I'm going to propose a city ban on the Ellenwood eviction and a law against anybody, anybody that is going to put senior citizens out of their home. And I mean that on the hurry up side. All those in favor? Aye. All who oppose? <laughs> Motion passed at last. Yeah. You just did. You're right. <laughs> I think it's time, Billy. Pigeon-toed, underbone, fine purple people eater. I like short shots. Ruby 